Hey there, it's Corey. In this video, I want to take a look at some of the new features that are available to you in the Autopilot Mach 3 update. One of the amazing new features that is available is the option to use multi-pattern in AutoFit. Now, AutoFit uses a point-to-point -point pattern, and that's a pattern that starts on the left, ends on the right, and the start and ends are on the same horizontal plane or the same x-axis. And we've been used to using AutoFit with one sole pattern. So if we click on it and we chose the begin option, we could click around and use that one pattern throughout the whole piece. But now we have the ability to do multi-pattern, which is a game changer for creating new patterns or doing background quilting or creating a string of patterns for a sashing, for instance. But I just want to show you kind of how that's going to work. So if we click on multi-pattern, and we already have patterns on the screen, the multi-pattern box will highlight, and our next and previous will highlight, but we don't have any patterns listed below it. So you have to tell the software which ones you would like to use in your multi-pattern autofit. So I can left-click on the ones that I would like to use. So I'm going to use these two for instance. And you'll notice that the patterns begin to be listed down in a list. And multi-pattern is going to be two or more patterns. So with these two, we'll have our titles listed. And right in front of the first one, we have a little asterisk that shows up. And that's telling you that that's the pattern that's going to be placed in your next click. So if I chose Begin Auto Fit, and I started to click the first one out, that's the first one. And if we look on our list, you can see that the little asterisk has moved down to the next pattern, telling me that this is the next one in the sequence that's going to be clicked out. And then if I click, there it is. So I can have a lot of fun doing a continuous string of patterns. But let's say, for instance, in this one string piece, I want to do another copy of the um, holly sash, but the asterisk is in front of the P2P fun. I can click on the next button and it's going to drop down and then on my next click you'll see that it placed that pattern again, but went back in the sequence of placing the asterisk on the next one. So if I wanted to do a couple rows or a couple passes, excuse me, of this holly sash, I could click the next button and choose that pattern. The next button and choose that pattern. Now for this demonstration I am doing my input of mouse but if you're clicking this out with your sew head you'll be using your right handle button to click it just like you normally do to do any type of auto fit.